People research their ancestors for a lot of reasons. Uh, to find out why they look like they do, why they were born in a particular place. Uh, I, I guess I was thinking about this when I started this project, but, but I really wanted to set out to find out why I am who I am. I like to look at the photo albums that I have and I wish I could turn the page and have them come to life. I knew my grandparents and aunts and uncles, but I, I never knew my great-grandparents and great-aunts and uncles. I knew their names and I'd seen their pictures, but what were they really like? Well, what made them laugh? What did their voices sound like? I found that my great-great-grandparents on my mom's side all came from Ireland. We have no photos of them, but I suspect they look like most people from the 1800s, kind of stoic, dark, and serious. My great-great-grandfather, Peter Shaughnessy, came from Galway. His wife, Elizabeth, came from Dublin. They came to the U.S. during the potato famine of 1845. Peter and Elizabeth Shaughnessy had a son, who was my great-grandfather, uh, Peter, and he married Catherine Madden, and they had two children, my grandmother Loretta, who I called Nani, and Marie, who my mom called Aunt Mimi. This generation of Shaughnessy's became rather well-to-do, and they enjoyed a life uh, in sort of gay 90s style, and when Catherine died, he married Edna St. Clair. Peter was the president of the Chicago Bricklayers Unit for 20 years, from 1909 to 1929. He was a hard-nosed, tough guy who fought hard for the Union, and he kept them working, and there was prosperity throughout the whole country. But then came Prohibition, 